Uh, next we have is uh, we're going to try and do a fishbowl type panel where we want to kind of get the answer. A lot of people have been asking like what's the future uh, JavaScript framework? Like what should we, if you're building a new app today, what should we be thinking about? Which one to pick? What recommendations we have? And I don't know as uh, John pointed out if there is a right or wrong answer. But what we would try and do with this panel is try and see what different people have opinions about uh, and what they think, you know, you should use Ember, you should use this, you should use that. And here's the reason behind why I would suggest you should use this. So we're going to open it up. Anybody from the audience can jump in and kind of start uh, giving their perspective. Uh, but I would request if uh, four people can come up and seed this to start with the discussion, and then more people can come in and we can rotate people through this. So do we have any four volunteers who want to come up and try and take a shot at answering what is the future of JavaScript web frameworks? I'll, I'll Good. Two. I'll do it. I'll John, it. three. Sure. I'm already mic'd. This is so easy. We're actually going to do karaoke now? Yeah. Setting the rules. Uh, one chair is empty. If anybody else from the audience wants to answer, they come take the chair. One of you will have to leave. And that continues at any given point in time. One chair is empty for someone to come and take the chair. All right? Give it a fight. What? Oh, so we're, yeah. how, how's this start? So I just you make your opinion and I disagree with it. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I thought we were friends. Uh, no. So me and John think very similarly. So I, I consider the future of JavaScript to be isomorphic JS, obviously. Um, so rendering um, uh, the state of your application on the server side using Node.js um, and hopefully sharing some of the logic that you've built um, for your application across the server and on the client. Um, there isn't currently um, a lot of frameworks out there that uh, provide this sort of support. Um, we're getting there. Uh, Ember is working on it. Um, Tom Dale wrote a, a blog post uh, a couple of years ago about progressive enhancement and sort of referenced the work that they were going to do with Ember. Um, but yeah, the future of JavaScript frameworks is, is probably um, this kind of work, this kind of logic is going to get done for you, so you won't even have to think about it. There won't be a server anymore. Um, you'll chart.